the end of their career in Canada, but nonetheless, people actually do enjoy watching it, and in recent years, they've been doing quite well. So we're turning around here to the left, and we will be, just for a short time, we will be going parallel to the River Lagan, and the Lagan obviously is the side of the river. We're in what's known as County Down. Uh, this would be the home, the home county of Rory McIlroy, the, the golfer, and on the other side of the river, we are in County Antrim, which would be Gray McDowell's home county. The island of Ireland is divided into four provinces, Ulster, Munster, Leinster and Connacht, and Ulster, six of the nine counties of Ulster, um, form Northern Ireland, so now you're actually going to visit two of them. <laughs> we're coming up here now over the bridge and right at the end by the traffic lights as we're turning left there is a piece of public art. It's a lady holding up a ring. Its official name is the Ring of Thanksgiving, but uh, she's known locally as Nula with the hula because it looks like she's holding <laughs> a hula hoop. And if you stand still for long enough here you will get a nickname so obviously she's stationary and within a couple of hours of her going up she had her pet name so that's Nula. Coming up here on the right hand side are our new court buildings, uh, obviously filled with glass, very light, like inside courts, uh, completely in contrast to the old courts where you had a big bomb proof wall going around the outside of it. So life, life and architecture has changed enormously here in Belfast in over the last 20 odd years since the signing of the Good Friday Agreement which brought an end to the armed conflict and hostilities that had gone on here for uh, minimum 40 years. Here on your left we have a fine example of one of only three uh, Victorian markets here on the island of Ireland. This is Belfast, it's St George's Market, it's uh, open every weekend selling artisan crafts, foods, drinks, um, there's always a bit of entertainment in there and it's, uh, it's wi widely supported. Nearly said widely. Widely. <laughs> We're going through the traffic lights here and uh, on the left as we go through you have a building kind of a coffee coloured uh, brick building. This is the telecommunications centre or hub and uh, you'll notice as we're driving past it that it actually has no windows at the bottom and that was for security reasons. So uh, it's quite peculiar. They've made the, they've actually made the, the, the alcoves for the windows but they were never installed because for fear of bombs etc. So thankfully those days are behind us. <coughs> so Belfast grew from being a little hamlet to being a town until eventually in 1888 it was given city status by Queen Victoria um, in commemoration of her 60th anniversary on the throne. So between 1850 1901 this city absolutely quadrupled in size uh, you had a lot of people coming in from the countryside to actually work in the linen industry and in the tobacco industry and in the rope making and of course in the shipyards
actually do something with it because it is a um, very classical looking building and it's just a nice so we're leaving and doing nothing to it and uh, it would make it make also make a good visitor center but we'll we'll have to just watch this space for the moment um, so we're turning left here and then it Britannia holding what would have been the scale so hopefully they do something with it because it's looked like that for too long it's shocking this was originally a Catholic hospital but it is now comes under the auspices of the National Health Service which was set up in 1948 at the end of World War II it was the brainchild of a man called Bevan who at the time was absolutely vilified for daring to suggest that we should all uh, pay a national insurance contribution which would go towards funding the National Health Service. I used to say, oh, we go to the doctor for free, but actually it's not for free because on top of our, national, on top of our income tax that we pay as employees, we also pay a national insurance contribution, which is about 5%, and that goes to fund the National Health Service. So really, in many ways, we're, we're paying our health care forward, if you get me. So, you know, I've paid it since I was 24, but only a vein, but really in my 50s, so I had 30 years worth of contributions. Uh.